Obviously, the city of Alasta, what do you believe are the biggest issues that affect this district? I'm going to loosen up my tie a little bit, but the biggest thing is jobs, unemployment rate. Is, and I don't know if you guys have been doing a lot of research, but we're in bad shape as far as the um, unemployment. So my biggest thing is figuring out a way, working with our city government to educate our people. We have to get more jobs here. And the thing about it, even though we have jobs, there are a lot of the lower paying jobs. So that's one, that's the biggest thing because it's an economic uh, problem that we're having. So I wanna tackle on getting more jobs to Valdosta and some higher paying jobs in Valdosta because we're not looking good across the, the uh, nation as being, we're one of the poorest cities, whether y'all know it or not, in the nation. And do your research on that and because uh, we have uh, like 32 or more percent that's below the poverty level. And we're from 27 to 33 percent below the poverty level here in the city of Valdosta. And I want to raise that to where we're doing a whole lot better. Thank you very much. Our next question, Dexter, we'll start this with you. What are your thoughts on education in South Georgia, both public school education and also post-secondary education? More specifically, your thoughts on the future of the Hope Scholarship and also on the Charter School Amendment. Okay, I'm, I'm not happy with what has happened to the uh, Hope Scholarships. And also when they said that they would do the lottery and have a lot of money for education, but it seemed like the money has been mismanaged and there's not been really a lot of accountability for it. So when I look at the education here in the city, we have a lot of great educators and we have a lot of great administrators. But when it comes down to the charter schools, and we must understand how the charter schools work. Now, let me give you some facts on this. In our public schools, it's costing us about $4,000 to educate our kids. In a, a charter school, a lot of times, it's costing right at over $6,000. Okay, when it comes down to meeting AYP, our public schools are achieving almost 70% or higher, but some of the charter schools are not even meeting up to 58% or so. So that gives you some facts on what we need to do. And um, I'm gonna work hard to make sure that this money is not uh, continue to be mismanaged in, in Atlanta. Uh, same question 